Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Um, it's about 10.30 in the morning. It's a pretty late morning. Um, the room was very dark, so we all slept a lot longer. However, I did wake up at about 7 when the ship first pulled in because about every 15-20 minutes there'd be an announcement with 10 reports and that and while it wasn't playing in the room, it was playing in the hallway, which was still loud enough to keep me awake. So, um, Grand Cayman's right behind me over here. Um, we still haven't decided if we're going to go on to shore yet, if we're going to go to the beach, which may or may not be close to the port, depends how far away the walking is. That determines whether or not we get on or off the ship. Anyway, so now we're going to go eat breakfast and then we'll figure out from there. Here's the breakfast for this morning. Egg Benedict bacon and some fruit. And here's a view of Grand Cayman. So it's 11 a.m. and by the time I get onto shore, it would end up being like 11.30 because again, we have to take a tender port. And then if we were to get a taxi or a bus, that's another 20 or so minutes, or at least 15. So we would only have about an hour and a half before we have to head back to the ship. And at that point, it's just not worth it. It's not worth paying the price for a taxi and going through all that hassle and not um, enjoying it to the fullest because we would be kind of like, we would be more concerned about the time. So we're going to stay on the ship. It's pretty empty. Most people are in port. Um, there's only like 20% of the ship maybe on right now. So we're going to go to all the pools and stuff while it's empty. We're going to hit the water slides for a little bit. I probably can't take my phone for any of that. For obvious reasons but I'll see what I can do. This is my new favorite drink from the bar. It's called Island Breeze. You can get it in a version. Um, it has a base of Sprite. I got it with Sprite Zero and I put different kind of fruit juices in it and mine it tastes really really good. So we're here outside of the pool bar and here's a view of Grand Cayman. Got the pink lady. This drink is not really worth it if you don't have the package. It's seven dollars, which is kind of a ripoff. But since we have the drinks package, it's okay. All right, it's about an hour until onboard time. Um, for the past couple of hours, my mom and I went on some of the slides, um, which are really fun. I'll go over them in a second. And we were in the pool for a little bit. The ship is starting to fill up now. Um, I can see in port. It's probably not the great of a view. There's a long line of people trying to get back on from the tenders. So we're gonna go eat lunch a little bit, dry off, and watch the sail away even though it's not we're not actually docked and then i'll go to the gym for a little bit and i don't know what we we'll do after that okay so starting with the slides this is like a twin racer they're the exact same um you start at the top and two people go at once you try to see if you can get to the bottom fastest um it's a pretty slow ride it's very easy to get stuck about halfway in between you have to push your way through which is what i had to do several times but if you lay down properly and you have your legs crossed that won't be an issue um, overall, I'd give it like a 6 out of 10. It's just a little bit above average. It's not that great. Um, in here, there's a brown slide. I apologize for the noise. Um, this is the easiest one. It's most friendly. I mean, the slide's alright. If you're scared of heights and if you want something easier, if you're a little kid, this is a good one. Um, i give it a 5 out of 10. It's pretty average. And then, last but not least, it's a little hard to see, but there's one big slide that goes all the way out here. This is the one with the tube. There's, uh, it's a two person tube, two people have to go at once. Um, you wait at the bottom, you wait for a tube, then you have to take it up all these stairs by yourself. Um, this is the best slide by far. It's uh, pretty big and it goes really, really fast. There's like music playing inside and different lights showing. Um, and there's a really big drop here at the end, which is really fun. You will probably get splashed at the very end, but nonetheless, it's really fun. Um, this one, honestly, is like a nine out of 10. I just wish it was a little bit longer. Um, if you're kind of heavy, you'll go by a lot faster which you will on the going faster that'll be more short-term fun but then it'll be over like sooner so yeah um for a cruise ship this is definitely the best slides i've have been on so far um this is a new ship so that does kind of make sense this whole area the theming is very nice this whole like water area it's about pirates but yeah those are the three main slides i mean there's like a kitty slide here but i wouldn't count that as a water slide I brought the record lunch and it basically consisted of chicken, beef, pork, and more beef. That was like worth history instead of actually chunks. It was really good. It was just lots of protein. So here is dessert. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but they always have some kind of sugar-free cake. Or not sugar-free, but like no added sugar. And I do really appreciate that. So that's what this and this is. It's just plain vanilla cake this time. However, it is very good. 
of all things, the lemon jelly ended up being the best. It's not that the others were bad, it's just this one was like really, really good. for today. This chicken fajita is amazing by the way. back from the theater show i actually thought it was very very good it was the best one yet they had the live band playing um which was a nice feature given how all the other ones had an overlay sound in my opinion they should do that for every single show that's how other cruise lines do it 
and it's not like those musicians were being used in other parts of the ship but anyways the show was really good it was full of energy and everything um my mom and i just wait no my mom and my brother just left to go to one of the adult only comedy shows by the same um comedian that was there a couple of nights ago um i would try to go that but i heard that they check people at the door if you're over 18. in either way it's probably not that appropriate for my age so i'm gonna be fine with that anyways so um that's probably it for today's video thank you so much for watching to the end tomorrow we're gonna be in cozumel we have an excursion planned so stay tuned for that see you tomorrow goodbye uh -huh.